I like it when like someone's on top of me. Oh yeah? Like the bigger, the buffer, the like better. That? Yeah. You like that, Cindy? I do. Fuck yeah. Ew. <laughs> Is that your straight voice? <laughs> Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Elias and I'm here with a special guest. Hi, I'm Cindy from the channel with Cindy. Um, and today we are going to be reacting and watching Fear Street Part 2, 1978. Just a couple, you know, quick explanations. Um, we have already seen Part 1 and I have actually already seen the entire trilogy. This will be Cindy's primarily first time watching the series and you're not really um, an avid watcher of horror movies. I don't really watch horror movies, not because I'm scared of them, but because it's just not my genre. Oh, I know nothing about Fear Street. So I'm coming into this totally blind. Like I know nothing about what's gonna happen, but I did watch part one with we you did last watch, night. We did watch part one. And what did you think? Uh, I thought it was good. It was very well done stylistically. Like okay. the direction, like the dir he, yeah, like the, the direction director. was super snappy, stylistic. The coloring was great. The director is a much better director than <laughs> her husband. <laughs> Just saying, <laughs> women truly do it better. <laughs> the story itself, I felt like. It was okay, but it was really just the cinematography that uh, was really good. You know, I, I had fun. I was engaged throughout the time. Okay, so hopefully we'll have another fun bloody ride. Uh, personally for me, part two is my favorite of the three uh, movies. I'm really excited to see what you think of my favorite one of the entire trilogy. Yes, so. I'm I'm expecting this one to be better than the first one. Better in terms of like story. I also like the actresses that we got to see. Like I like Jillian Jacobs and I like uh, the girl who plays the Sadie redhead. Sink. Yeah, I like Sadie as well. She's so this one. yeah, so that'll be fun. This time we're going back into 1978. Yeah, I think it's a really cool concept to go backwards mm -hmm. with each movie. I mm -hmm. love horror. I primarily love the subgenre slashers. So, you know, 2020 in the year, we're in the year of slashers, I think, up and coming slashers. And so I'm really excited for like the new Halloween movie, the new Scream, like reboots. I've never heard of any of them. I actually, I think last night was like my first slasher movie. Seriously? Yeah. That's remember so, I was asking you like, oh. So lame. Yeah. <laughs> uh, There's like so many like, Easter eggs and collages over my head. And I'm a just... noob. Okay, I'm a okay. noob. Remember last night I was asking you like, oh, is that like what a slasher is when someone's just chasing you around the entire time? Yeah, she was asking like the final girl. See, it's better for me to watch with someone else because then you can tell me all about it. But before we get further into the video, a message from today's video sponsor. Cue the clip. <laughs> Thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Surfshark is essentially a VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network, which keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information sent between your device and the internet. This essentially keeps all of your personal data and information safe and protected from big companies and hackers, especially if you're using a free public Wi-Fi. So a VPN will swap out the location of your device to a new one, aka changing your IP address. So in this way, you can virtually travel to any country around the globe. Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in 65 countries, which gives you access and accessibility to countless content and streaming services from different countries. So for an example, I use HBO Max a lot. I use it to watch a plethora of movies and TV shows, especially the Studio Ghibli films. How's Moving Castle? High up there on my list. If you're living in a different country and you want access to HBO Max, it's as simple with just a click of a button changing your location to a different country. Similar to Netflix, I know that in different countries, content on Netflix sort of differs. And and I'm currently watching a K-drama right now called Nevertheless, and boy is it just different and plenty steamy. And so if the K-drama Nevertheless isn't available in your country, or you have to wait for an extended period of time before it becomes available, then look no further because with Surfshark, you got the accessibility, voila. Surfshark is completely safe. It does not monitor, track, or store any of your online activity. And one of the great aspects about Surfshark is that it'll allow you to use your one account on an unlimited number of devices. If you want to share with family, friends, or relatives, no problem, because I have a code that you can use. If you guys are interested, you guys can use my code, which is literally my name, Elias, to get 83% off plus three extra months for free. I don't know what to tell you, but it literally doesn't get better than that. Surfshark also offers a 30 day back money guarantee. So there's literally no harm and no risk in trying it out. If you guys are interested, check out the link in my code down in the description box below. And thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Now back to our regular broadcast. All right, you guys, with that being said, let's get this party started. All right, 1978. Shadyside, small town America. I'm going to get you back. 
Oh, yeah. Before we get further, I did film a reaction of Cindy to, oh. uh, to some of our favorite <laughs> characters from the first movie, primarily Simon and Kate's death. So cue the clip here. Oh, so she's not the main character. Sam. <gasps> oh my God. What? I didn't think you were coming. So she's the ex? Yeah. Oh, okay. Here. Now I'm fucking interested. That's a trope I recognize in horror movies. <laughs> when you close the door and someone's there. Oh my God. No! No, she better not die, dude. She better not. Ooh. He's like, I'm about to make some red velvet cake. Dude, no, no, I don't believe it. No, she's gonna be fine. She'll be fine. <gasps> Dude, no, that sucks. I like her. Man, why'd she have to go? Why couldn't it have been the guy with the nails? Okay, well, I don't care about- What did you think of Kate and Simon? Did you like Kate and Simon? Like, who are your favorite characters of the Honestly, first movie? Honestly, I don't think I really had any favorite characters. Dude, no, that sucks. I like her. I did find Simon Cowell very charming. Yeah. Um, I did find certain actors more engaging. Like, I like the main actress. You said a lot of people didn't like her. I can understand that because the character was, like, doing a little bit too much sometimes. But I found the actress engaging. And I found Kate engaging as well. Yeah. The guys, I was like, meh. Okay. It's the girlies I'm here for. <laughs> and she was actually shocked when it turned out to be that Sam was a girl, not a not a guy. Oh yeah. yeah. Typical compulsory heterosexuality. I was jazzed to find out Sam was a girl. All right. Well, yeah, I love that. Here we go. Kill capital USA. I'm glad Jillian Jacobs got this role because I haven't seen her since Community. I find Jillian Jacobs to be an engaging actress as well. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Danger, Jesus! Oh, she got a doggy. Oh, the dog better stay alive. <laughs> so I'm guessing she's just been really fucked up ever since that experience at camp. Pretty much. It's almost like you being with me was like your camp. <laughs> and you just haven't been the same since the then. 10 years, I'm gonna get so much PTSD from this. Yeah. And then like someone's gonna call you some poor other soul and you're gonna be like there's be no like, escape i'll be like you survived you survived with cindy no one survives uh, no. and she's like don't bring that shit <laughs> onto my porch like, get the fuck out oh uh, polaroid here we go sadie so is that Jillian Jacobs, or is that her sister? That's her sister. Oh, okay. Oh my god, rude. Give me your lighter. The white girls are so scary. <laughs> white teenage girls. They're like the most unhinged. <gasps> what? Damn. That would have caught me on fire immediately. She would have caught my armpit hair. Ew. I don't like her attitude. Bossed around by a good. I like her hair. She has the best hair. God, I hate that little bitch. <gasps> hey, don't call women hey. bitches. Great. You're my bitch. Here we go. Don't touch her. <laughs> oh, I hate it when guys are like, oh, I don't get it. Thank you. Where's my hug? Future police chief Nick Good. Oh, he's a future police officer. Mm 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 mm. Good for her. Good for her. Uh oh. Mm -mm. The gunk. That sketch. The gunk means something. Remember when you saw my gunk for the first time? Scarred for life. That's why I have PTSD now. <laughs> you also couldn't scrub it away either. So she's Cindy. That's Jillian Jacobs. Ew. That's me at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Better be. Yeah, you better be sorry. Mwah. Disgusting. <laughs> Ooh, Cherry Bomb. I like the song. <gasps> oh my gosh. 
Aw, memories. Ew, I just know they smell. I hate hippies. I can't, I'm not into that. Watch, hippies are gonna comment on your video and are gonna be very offended by me. <laughs> she's literally quintessential final girl. Essentially in horror movies, that means that she's like the perfect image of what they typecast as a final girl in a horror movie. Final girl as in the girl who survives? survives okay. Who beats all the odds. She's a virgin. Hmm. She's like goody two shoes. So I wonder if this movie, badass. I wonder if this movie will subvert the tropes. I think Sadie will be a final girl. Wait, no, no. Jillian Jacobs was saying that her sister died. So never mind. Oh, she had a sweet voice. She was in choir. Oh, that's why she was singing a lot in the first movie. I mean, her vocal range was okay. She was singing the same shit over and over. You're slain. People I have found usually can times that reason is justified. Dude, <laughs> she's like, chill. Nurse Lane, chill. Your shady side, in case you forgot. Damn, I'm so cynical. That's literally you half the time. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy, is that you? Mm-mm. Girl, that ain't Tommy. Yeah, just a drawer that casually holds a collection of <laughs> knives. <laughs> I mean, I do have a drawer like that. <laughs> Ooh, the first cut is the deepest. I like that song. Uh-oh. Oh my god. He's walking a little bit too ominously. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What? 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 Shit. What? What's gonna happen? <gasps> oh, bye, Tommy. Oh my god, dude. Nurse Lane needs some therapy. She should not be a camp counselor. Baby, I know the first cut is the deepest. I think there was an accident in Cabin 5. Dude, I don't like Sheila. I don't like her because, like, I know girls who are just like her. I'm just like, your attitude is ugly. I don't care about this future cop. Drugs are peaceful, not violent. You and her would get along. <laughs> what are you saying? Recommence the Kate Color War! It's commence. <laughs> you trying to film your book reviews. <laughs> but he's kind of shagadelic. Ew, he's not shagadelic, girl, please. Shagadelic? <laughs> Just smoke and focus on that. <laughs> what happened today? Who cares? It's over. I wonder if it's gonna reveal that Jillian Jacobs was actually Sadie. Because why would they just say her name is C whatever? She's so cynical and just drags everything down. That's you. I know. Oh, was this why you kept on singing that song the other day? My head is throbbing. Oh yeah. Remember when I made your head throb? Hello? Hello? You think Tommy's gonna die? Hell yeah, dude. Somebody in there? I hope so. Why? I don't care about Tommy. <laughs> I hope she dies too. I'm not into her. <laughs> Those two are gonna die for sure. Tommy's gonna die. You've read Carrie? Yeah. Second favorite after Salem's Lot. Oh. Please don't let them bond together. <laughs> I'm not into him. Go ahead. Carry on. Mm-mm. 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 I wish he died. I wish he was one of them. Would you have gone with Alice? Gone after her? Hell no. Like, wait. Watch like, when I heard her scream? Yeah. Uh, if yes. I heard someone scream, I would, like, try to help them. I gotta piss. <laughs> you every five minutes. I didn't march all the way out here for nothing, okay? Alice is dumb, but I feel like it would be fun to hang out with her. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Look at all this witch. I am dipping if I see all that shit. <laughs> You'd be like, fuck no, I'm out. Sarah, That's how you die. Sarah, fear is Tommy's getting fucked up. Maybe he'll like try to kill them later. Oh my god, yes. That's my name. What is it? You sound kind of hot. You do hot. not want that voice calling out to you. I don't know, they sound kind of hot. Dude, that's how you sound like when you try to use that voice. Yeah, you literally make that voice to me. Tommy? <gasps> Tommy! Tommy's gonna kill the other guy. Not this white on white crime. <gasps> what are you doing, man? Tommy? Bruh. 
Damn. That was a juicy slice. Dude, she's so mean. You like that though. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't like her attitude. That's how you treat me though. You talk to me like that all the time. Yeah, well, with her, it feels like a microaggression. With me, I feel like it's internalized racism. In yeah, Australia. that's different. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> oh, dude! That was fucking good. That was good. Way to go, Sadie. Oh my god. Stop. You two need to work together. That's the Cindy Berman I knew. Ooh, Cindy got some spice to her. You know, since since we're all in here and in jail. Oh, they're nice. Cute. But, uh, yeah. Uh, like a uh, guys like Charade. Shut the fuck up, nerd. Oh my god, so mean. You shut the fuck up. Don't worry, one day that kid is gonna start a booktube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, if that kid dies, that would be kind of a bummer. Hey, nerd! Oh my god, stop. No. Oh, well, it's a color war. You gotta do what you gotta do. Don't worry, one day you're gonna grow up to be a booktuber and you're gonna put all your self-esteem on what books you read and you're gonna get into arguments with people on the internet. And that's gonna be what fulfills you. Oh, unless Tommy kills you. Oh, never mind then. Spoke too soon. Yeah, spoke too soon. Well, we lost another one in the community. <laughs> Sadie is so out of his league. Come on, dude. Like, everything turns to shit eventually. Please don't kiss. You know, you're my legacy. The future of the family depends on you. Ugh, it's not easy being privileged. <laughs> yeah. Don't fucking touch her bandage. Literally, his tragic story is so vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't kiss. Ew, come on, dude. It's the way Sadie is doing charity work right now. <laughs> it's the way this is gonna be the peak of his acting career. <sighs> Girl, you can do so much better. I couldn't kill anyone. Nah, I believe she can kill somebody. She has it in her. Nah, she, she's gonna kill someone later on. She might die. <laughs> hey, sorry. Is she growing on you though? Uh, yeah. She didn't have a good first impression on me, but... Because usually, in this scenario, she would be already dead in a horror movie. Mm. Arnie was just a hippie. She's a hippie too? Yeah. Arnie did seem nice though. I do feel a little bit bad for Arnie. Arnie seemed like a like a genuinely nice guy. So that's a shame. Tommy didn't? Uh, they're all nice, but Arnie just seemed like more chill. Like, I could hang out with Arnie. I hate flies. They're so annoying. They need a fly swatter. Just be like, pah, pah, pah. I don't think that would help. In this <laughs> Dude, why would you touch that? Why would anyone touch that? <laughs> oh no. Damn, I feel bad for her. No. Oh fuck. Ooh, I like this song. Oh my god. <laughs> Every time you like a song, there's like a oh, sex man. scene. Stay put, big boy. Oh my god. You did me last night. <laughs> Stay put, big boy. Dude, she hella rolled him. I mean, she rode him. <laughs> oh no. We gonna lose you, girl. But at least you had a good lay. <sighs> I miss getting laid. Okie dokie. I guess her mind was opened. Okie dokie were her last words. Okie dokie. Mm -mm. Someone's gonna die. Mm -mm. Damn, not the only people of color. I know, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila? What happened to Sheila? You bitch! <gasps> oh my god. The girlies are fighting. I'm trying to help you. There's a killer. Oh my 
God. Damn, she knocked her the fuck out. Good for her. Good right hand hook. Mm hmm. Just get on. We're pulling you up. Oh, I would die. How the fuck would you get up on a bucket? Well, they have no choice. Oh. Oh, you put the bucket under your coochie. Coochie bucket. Tommy. Tommy, what are you doing? Uh oh. <gasps> Tommy, shit. Wow, that was a clean cut. Oh my god. Maybe you shouldn't go up. <laughs> Oh my god, Ziggy. Dude, so much trauma. Sean, J Jesse, Rod, Stacy. Okay, way to brag. God. We could start a book club or something, maybe uh <laughs> You do you disapprove? Hey, of course. I am different. Shut up, man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! <gasps> oh, phew. Alright, just keep on slicing Nick. Girl, run. Do not look bad. So it seems like the killer is only after uh, Shady Siders. Mmm. No, it's fine. I'll catch up. Alright, you gotta save your sister. Aw, Alice. No. No, I don't wow. want to leave Alice. I cannot behind. believe you go from hating her to like actually like. I got a bad first her. impression of her because she was like getting it on with that hippie. You actually even like Arnie too. <laughs> the two most disliked people. You were like, man, I fucking hate people like this. And now, yeah. damn. <laughs> well, you know, after when, development, we love to see it. When people are dying, just changes your perspective. Except for Nick, though. I wouldn't care if he died. Oh man, fuck. I'm gonna miss you, Alice. Alice, you were a, a cool bitch. We would have had so much fun together. <laughs> Damn. But who knows, maybe she'll figure it out. Carry on my way. Wait, why'd she turn it on? Distraction. Distraction? She's smart. I don't get it, but I'll assume it will be explained. Sadie is carrying the whole movie. Nice. No, hey, you just hit a child. Oh my god. No, Ziggy. You can do it. You can do it. Dude, Sadie is acting her ass off right now. That's how he got his mask. Mmm. You just created his villain arc. His villain origin story. Oh my god, girl. Girl. Oh my god, okay. Phew. I don't want to believe that Sadie will die. I don't want to believe it. Hell yeah! Dude, that's how you do it, dude. No hesitation. Honestly, if that were me, I would not hesitate either. I wouldn't Hell even dude. I wouldn't even pause to see the flashbacks. I would just be like, bam, 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 bam. I know about that. Mm, he's not dead though. Everything. I can see a little bit of Jillian Jacobs now and Cindy. Boom. Oh my god. <laughs> I would be scared even if we were watching a regular movie. <laughs> well, I'm glad Alice is okay for now. It's Sarah's lost hand. Wow. Her hand is like pretty well put together still. You can tell this movie is directed by a woman because it's been so focused on these women characters. We can see if she decides. She looks better like this. <laughs> All bloody and messed up. Yeah. Because <laughs> before she was too polished. Now she has some grit. She has some character to her. Girl, why are you touching that hand? <gasps> Just like Samantha. Mm-hmm. Rip. <gasps> Shit. That's my pussy throbbing for you. <laughs> Oozing out too. Disgusting. Yeah. I'm repulsed. We're breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my dad go to jail when I was six. Oh, are we trauma dumping now? For shady side. <sighs> All right, girl. But I'm gonna miss you. Alice! 
I said I was gonna miss her. Damn, Cindy's got some grit to her. Come on, Cindy, let's fucking go. Yes, this is what I'm fucking talking about, dude. You just go smash it over and over and over. Then you beat him some more. Keep on beating him. Dude. She's been through a lot. But you know what? She won't be in pain anymore. Aww. Aww, Alice. Damn, that's so sad. What is that? Fucking Ruby Lane. <laughs> she wanted to be a singer, but she sings the same fucking line over and over. Like, damn. Singers need versatility, girl. Come on. Ruby, you're just a one-hit wonder. <laughs> See, this is when you should have run like 10 minutes ago. Oh my god. Ooh, the vocals. Shit is about to get real. Yeah, when you hear the choir. Dude, if that were us, we would not make it in time. Halfway through, we'd be like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> oh my god, I need to sit down. Just let my sister live. Just let my sister live. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Do Cindy! Do Cindy's fucking bad ass, dude. Oh, fuck. Do she fucking try it, though? She went all in. Say goodbye. Yeah. Shit. Damn. She tried, though, you know? She had the gusto in her. He's stabbing her right now? Yeah. Shit. Damn. Sadie was like, yo, this is my Oscar moment. <laughs> hmm. But then how do we get to see Jillian Jacobs later on? Aww. Damn. Will you still look at me when we get axe murdered repeatedly? Aww, that shot. Aww. Sometimes it's like these death situations that make you realize. Christine. I knew she was, she must have been a different character because they would have called her Cindy. She's Gil Gillian or Jillian Jacobs. So Ziggy is Christine, AKA Jillian Jacobs, right? Yeah. That was my theory. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Everyone was like, how the fuck is she alive? I yeah, don't I don't get it. She was literally stabbed repeatedly. Oh, so he was able to bring her back to life, but CPR. not- well, why couldn't he do CPR to her afterwards? Bro, did you no. see the axe that cut into her chest and her heart? And okay, her but she, Sadie got fucking stabbed all the time. You, the likelihood of surviving being stabbed is- By knife? By knife axe. compared to an axe is significantly higher. Um, I guess. Her heart sort of stopped, and so he just restarted it. Oh. Even though she, like, was losing blood. Tommy Slater. Just went crazy. Oh, come on, dude. Fucking typical cop. I had a feeling Sadie would stay alive just because Sadie was such like a, a prominent character and a beloved character. Back to where it all started. That's the hanging tree? At the mall? They never cut it down. Wow, that's a really shallow. <laughs> <laughs> they just had to dig for a few minutes, they found it. I'll be right back. Wait. Oh no. That hand is pretty well put together. Yeah. Considering it's hella old. Aw, Kate. Eh, I don't really care for Sam. I got you. You witch. You bitch. Or witch. I can't wait to see Sarah's story. Sophie! Oh, Sarah. <laughs> Damn, that Dina actress, she's like, hell yeah. I'm gonna show my range. How fun. I'm glad that um the cast is coming back. That's fun. All right. So cool. what did you think of uh, Fear Street Part 2, 1978? I feel like same level of enjoyment as the first part for me. Okay, interesting. I think I like the directing better in like the first movie because it just felt more stylistic and snappy. This one felt more uh, slowed down, but you know what? I think I like the characters better in the second movie. Who did you like? I liked the sisters. I thought their, you know, relationship was sweet. I liked um, Alice. 
Alice's boyfriend who died because he was chill. I guess Tommy was okay too. I didn't really have much time to get attached to him, but I'm sure he was a nice guy. So everyone was like, okay, except for the future cop. Like, um, yeah, that's fun that like the cast still gets to like be continuous yeah. throughout the movies. Like, I, I just like to that we get to see the characters again. Uh -huh. Well, not the characters, but the actors again. So that'll be fun. What would you give this out of a five? I would give the same rating as I did with- Four out of five? Yeah, yeah. Excited to see part three. We won't be reacting to it, so. What did you like about this movie? Like, what was your favorite moment? Oh, your I favorite love, characters? I just love the setting. I love the setting, the soundtrack, the characters. The story overall was just elevated for me. Yeah. Even, even more. And I already knew A.D. Singh's character, Ziggy, was C. Berman because I actually saw the, watched the trailer. Oh. And I feel like I put it together pretty well. It made yeah. more sense to me. I feel like I put it together as well because Sadie just felt like the main character. And they had similar personalities of being very cynical. And if C. Berman was Cindy, they would have just called her Cindy. Dude, Cindy was like, she really fucking showed up. I really like how she was just so ready. Like anytime a killer showed up, she was just fucking ready to like, like she had no hesitation. It was except for Tommy, but I'll give her that one little pass. But she was like- Yeah, she was great. She was fucking ride or die, so. Props to her. That's really how you gotta be when you're in a situation like that. Like, you she, gotta... I feel like she and Alice had the most character development in terms of like their characters. Alice became a much more sympathetic character. So you might notice a lighting change. My battery died, so we had to wait um, until I recharged it to film the outro. Um, but where were we? We were talking about Cindy and I guess our favorite moments from part two. Yes. One of my favorite moments in part two were sort of the interactions that they had with the killer. In the beginning, when Tommy was about to kill Arnie, I think that part was like a crucial game changer where everyone shit hit the fan, you know, everything, like stakes were high, everyone was screaming. But Ziggy's uh, one versus one Tommy trying to like distract him with the music and trying to stab him in the back. Yeah, they, they fended for themselves pretty well. Yeah, Ziggy was a little badass. Um, not gonna lie. Mm, so. so was Cindy too. Yeah, Cindy too. Cindy honestly. was hardcore. I would say the climax was pretty awesome. Like just everything building up to it, you know, the slow-mo. Cindy the being so determined to just protect her sister was really sweet. Yeah. And then, you know, like the one where they're both lying on the grass and like their hands are like Some people cried, touching. You know? I can see that. I feel like the Nightwing killer was pretty brutal because he had a higher kill count. He did have a higher kill count. Yeah, Skull Mask was just like, wasn't he the weirdo from the mall? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then the girl, I mean, she just sings all the time. Ruby I'm like, Lane. We, we get it. You were part of choir. A one liner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did want to mention that I think like the whole, what was her name, Sarah? I think Sarah is going to turn out to be a sympathetic character. Like I think there's going to be more to her story. Like she's not just some evil witch, but I think, you know, I think history did her dirty. I think that's what we're going to find out. I'm looking forward to seeing all the actors like reprising their roles, six, even six, the six, ones six. who are dead. So that'll be fun. You also want to, you know, quickly Oh, sure. Yearning. Well, this is just a preview of my merch. It says yearning. It comes in how many colors? Comes in two colors. This is like the pink tie-dye, and then there's another one that's like a blue-purple tie-dye. Well, thanks for having me. It was definitely more fun to watch it with a friend. Thanks for uh, joining me on this rewatch for me. And I know that, you know, it's just really fun watching another fun slasher film with, you know, somebody who doesn't mind horror movies, so. And someone who's watching it for the first time, too. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all soon with the new video. Bye. Um. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So <laughs> let's post for a thumbnail real quick. Oh, I thought we already earlier. did. Oh, okay. It's just like um, just in case. Yeah. All right.